it was sad to see that we we are talking about Kate Spade. It was sad. It was good to see that we were talking about it. And sad because of what it meant. But as I was reading the comments, I again I was fatigued. The people who were saying, well, that's just what weak-minded people do. That's just what people do who are selfish. Really? If you don't know, Kate Spade is the purse person that made all these purses and became a very famous designer. And then lost control of her company. I mean, she sold her company. She sold like 56% of her company and, and her name. And so she couldn't do anything under her name anymore because her name had become a product. And she was fine for that at the beginning with the exchange. But then mental illness set in. And make no mistake, it is mental illness. You don't come to a place to where you say, I want to kill myself. Everything... Everything, everything in the human psyche is built to stop you from dying. Every little creepy feeling when you get too close to an edge, to the spider senses that are saying something's not right here, I shouldn't be here. All of that, all of that is protection so you don't die. It takes extreme Mental issues to be able to get to the point to where you say, I'm better off dead, and so are all the people around me. And it's a lie. People were writing last night how selfish it was for, for a mother to do this. I, I, I know. My mother did this exact thing. When I was about the age of Kate Spade's kids. It screws you up for life. You never get over it. My nieces and nephews were the same age that I was. When my mother killed themselves. When their father killed himself. They haven't recovered. It's been a decade and a half. You never do. As somebody who has been in clinical depression, somebody who has gone through a period of my life where I honestly considered killing myself, there's a huge difference between that and every bad time that I've ever gone through where I thought everything was hopeless and this is never going to end and I don't know how we're going to turn this around and oh, my life sucks and whatever it is. That's normal. There is a different level to where you start thinking to yourself, I'm so tired. I can't do it another day. When you start to actually think that it's logical that life is better if you weren't living, that others, their lives would be better if you weren't living. It's a mental condition to take a scarf out and hang yourself as she did yesterday. The reason why I bring this up is because my life was saved by a guy named Bobby Drees years and years ago in the 80s. And he had gone through depression before and he recognized it. And he said to me, you are coming with me to the hospital now. And he took me to the hospital pretty much against my will. And I'm alive today because of that. Life is hard. Mental illness is a condition. 
There is help and treatment. Your life is so great once the clouds start to dissipate. Please get help.